This is a marker of a grave of a young man from ancient Athens of the 6th century BC, originally crowned the stele that you see nearby in the gallery, carved in a very delicate manner. It was originally painted in bright colors, black, blue, and green. Sphinxes function as guardians of the tomb against anyone that would threaten to disturb the grave. The monster has the sinewy body of a young lioness and avian wings with a snake-like tail that whips around her haunches. As you see, it's very alert with big bulging eyes that was ready to jump on you. This monster is a female with the head and the hair of a beautiful woman. Her lips curled in this half smile. This makes you think about beauty and especially female beauty as being both enchanting and dangerous. Besides being the spirit demon of death, the Sphinx pursues beautiful young men, but then rips them apart. Even today, there is still a fascination with monsters overall. In our culture, with vampires and zombies, I think what connects us with monsters is the, the strong emotions that they bring up inside us, the emotions of fear, anxiety, terror, that are transposed in something external. So they are liminal beings that bridge the world of the living with the world of the dead. And it's connected to the fear of death. Sphinxes occupy a space of passage. It's a very powerful symbol to have it on a grave marker. What makes it great is the sentiment of wonder, of curiosity. And these are exactly the emotions, the feelings that we have when confronted with a great work of art.